everyone happy evening a very good evening am i audible and visible yes so uh, here we are happy evening everyone i hope and i believe all of you are doing well welcome to today's uh, youtube live session where we are going to see some quick mnemonics of ipc sections very very uh, you know volatile topic in uh, fmt that we all look forward to remember uh, just give me a moment not able to write here okay so this is the second session of our hat trick sessions for uh, mnemonics and uh, then today we are seeing ipc yesterday we saw milestones if any one of you missed that you can always check that session and then 26 that is tomorrow we'll be seeing some important scoring systems like the glasgow coma scale some important scorings in traumas liver ke kuch important scores uske mnemonics we'll see tomorrow right and uh, i'm sure all of you know about the plus subscription which gives you access to the unlimited courses on the platform which are much more structured you have iconic which is with prep ladder so live and recorded both and you have now the four year subscription as well so if someone is in their first year or second year of mbbs you can definitely look up to four year plus or iconic subscription and we also have this raise a hand feature which is available on the plus platform and we have started with the new batches recently right now let us start with our today's uh, uh today's session before that i i hope all of you remember the code to join the sessions or to take a subscription is dr nikita live all right so before we start this is the first question for all of you guys a pre-session test question so if death of a patient occurs during surgery due to negligence of the surgeon, then the surgeon can be charged under which of these IPC sections? 299, 300, 304A or 304B. Right, it is 304A. Guys, I hope you remember the mnemonics, right? 304A and 304B. A is for a print. That means your medical negligence or any rash act. 304B is for bride, that is your dowry. Okay, so 304A is apron, medical negligence comes under that and 304B is bride, right? Let us go to the other, uh, now start with the mnemonics. Let's start with the IPCs for criminal responsibility, right? So section 82, 83, 84 and so on, 90, 92, that is what we are going to see first, okay? Uh, just a moment guys, I am not able to see see this all right so section 82 says start with hai your criminal responsibility so, so criminal responsibility starts with the age less than seven years of age is not liable for criminal crim, uh, criminal responsibility so 82 remember this as 82 80 is like eight that is your eight and 2 is like Hindi mein 2. So suppose that someone has committed a crime of eating your precious like uh, mangoes in the summer season. So you ask who ate the mangoes 2. So 8 to 2 that is your you ate the mangoes so that is a criminal responsibility. But suppose if it's a kid less than 7 years that kid is not responsible. So no criminal responsibility for less than 7 years. So 82, 82 that is your less than 7 not responsible. So after that of course will be 7 to 12 years ke liye fir kya? It will depend on the mental maturity. So 83 deals with 7 to 12. 
So less than 7 not responsible is 82, 7 to 12 years is 83. 84, so in our mnemonics remember 4 stands for foul, 4 stands for foul. So 84 is someone who is with a foul mind, that means a insane person. Foul mind, matlab mind is not proper, insane person, criminal responsibility is not liable. Someone with the insane mind is not liable for the criminal responsibility, that is basically your McNaughton's rule, right? That is your McNaughton's rule, very, very frequently asked. It is your 84. Next one, 85 and 86. It is about your intoxication. So, when it is, remember that 5 is forced, 5 is forced intoxication, 6 is for self intoxication. So, 5 is forced intoxication, and 6 is self intoxication. Forced intoxication means that person did not do voluntarily. The person was forced for that intoxication. So, this is involuntary drunkenness. So, that person is not liable. Okay, that person is not liable. Six is like self-intoxication. That means voluntarily drunkenness. Criminal responsibility of voluntary drunkenness. That person is liable. So, the intoxicating substance is taken with intent. That is voluntary. That is self so, the tricks to remember, 5 is forced intoxication, that is basically involuntary and 86 is self-intoxication, that means it is your voluntary intoxication, right? That's your voluntary intoxication. Then you have your 90 and 92, which are very, very important. So, you have 90 may 0. Now, again in our mnemonics, 0 will stand for null or void, that means no value. So, when you say 9090, 0 matlab this is invalid or null consent. When is the consent invalid? When it is given under insanity, when it is given under fear of injury, under intoxication or a child less than 12 years, that consent is not valid. For child less than 12 years, even for physical examination, you need to take parents or guardians ka consent. So, 90 is less than 12, fear of injury, insane mind or your intoxication that is invalid null consent that is zero okay remember zero matlab null then you have 92 so hamare mnemonics mein aage also we'll see like 9 92 uh, is like 9 is like nahi and 2 is like hindi ka do so nahi do consent to bhi chalega so 92 is like nahi do consent to bhi chalega why because it is an emergency situation. So, saving the patient's life is more important than, you know, waiting to take a consent. So, in emergency situations, consent is not required. That is nahi do. That is nahi matlab 9 or do matlab 2. That is 92. Next one, your 191, 193. 191 is your definition of perjury. Okay, definition of perjury. So, 191. 1, the first one you write as Roman 1, that is I. Ye wala jo no number hai, no number is basically like your I, no. And this one is like none. So, I know none. That means I know nothing. The person is saying I don't know anything about this, even though the person knows about that incident. So, that is a false evidence under oath. This is the definition is 191. And if you do perjury, then you have to pay the fee. That means you will get a punishment for perjury. Punishment means paying the fee. Now fee is rhyming with 3, right? So fee, matlab punishment is your 193. So punishment for perjury is 193, 193. 197, 7, remember when you write 7, it is for your certificate, okay? So, 7 is certificate, okay, 7 is certificate. So, punishment for issuing false certificate is 7 years ka punishment, 197, 7 years ka punishment, okay. So, remember I know none, that is 191 is perjury definition, 3 is paying the fee, that is punishment and 7 is your certificate, okay. 197 is giving the false certificate. Everyone clear so far with all the mnemonics that we have seen? 
is this clear with everyone just give me a quick thumbs up so that i know you all are with me on the same page yes all right let us go to the next one now okay the next one now very very important and a frequently asked question i still remember this was asked when i appeared for my exam the all india pg exam section 228a punishment for disclosing the identity of the rape victim that is your section 228 now in our mnemonics remember these numbers like 4 we said is foul 9 we said is like nahi 0 is null and this two wala person is a person who is a very mischievous person aap usko aise ek yaad kar sakte ho ki ye do number ka ek banda hai this do number ka banda who is very mischievous he goes to that is to this two numbered person goes to other eight people he goes to other eight people and reveals the identity of the rape victim so visualize this happening a person named two who is a mischievous person who goes to other eight people and i uh, discloses the rape victim ka identity so 2 2 8 2 goes to eight people and uh, discloses the identity 228 a 201 now again this 2 is your mischievous person 0 matlab nullifying nullifying void 0 kar dena so that is basically your causing disappearance or destruction of evidence so this mischievous person nullifying the evidence that is your uh, section 201 so if you are not preserving the poison wala articles if the embalming is done in poisoning case before autopsy all these will come in your section 201 because you are causing destruction of the evidence or disappearance of the evidence so not preserving the articles or embalming the body before autopsy these are included in your 201 very very important and frequently asked then we have section 30 300 302 304 now in your 00 wala nullify karne wala matlab zero karne wala is definition of murder you have nullified a person entirely that means killed a person similarly we will see in hurt and grievous hurt 319 and 320 jisme zero aata hai wo zyada nullify karne wala hai that is your grievous hurt okay 320 is your grievous hurt 319 is only hurt similarly 300 is more serious that is your murder and 302 is punishment for murder we all know this 302 hindi movies bollywood movies right dafa 302 ke tahat aapko ye ye saza di jati hai so that is for your murder 302 is punishment for murder then you have 304 remember 304a and 304b that is your culpable homicide not amounting to murder a is by the negligent act or the rash and negligent act like your medical negligence apron b is for your dowry death okay dowry death b for bride b for bv that is your dowry death punishment for dowry death or dowry death is defined as death of a female within 7 years of marriage okay within 7 years of marriage so you have 300 you have 302 and you have 304 300 is definition of murder 302 punishment for murder 304 is your culpable homicide a and b a is apron and b is bride then you have your first let us see 7 8 9 okay so 307 308 and 309 punishment for attempt to murder attempt to commit culpable homicide and suicide so this is going from severe to less sabse bura is murder then culpable homicide and then is suicide so 307 is your attempt to murder okay 307 is your attempt to murder 308 culpable homicide and 309 is suicide now this act has been repealed 309 act has been repealed and 306 is your abatement of suicide then you have these are very very important your criminal abortion wale acts okay criminal abortion one is with consent without consent and one is leading to death of the mother now easy to remember 312 
Now this is like you do 3 minus 1 is equal to 2, right? 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So this is a family which was about to begin a family of 3, right? So wife, husband and a child was about to be born. But then we subtracted this child, we did a criminal abortion. So now from 3 they have again become 2. So 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So 3, 1, 2, you have removed this one. So 3, 1, 2, this is with consent. 3, 1, 3, that is you are trying to subtract this one from this family of 3. But the mother is like, no, no, please don't do the abortion. I want the family of 3 only. So it remains 3. So 3, 1, 3 is without consent. 3, 1, 2, mother ne consent de diya. 3 minus 1, 2 ho gaya. 313 mother does not want to do so it remains 3 so it is without consent and 314 4 is we said foul play kuch hua so during the criminal abortion if there is a foul play leading to the death of the mother that is your 314 okay so remember 312 is with consent 313 without consent 314 is a foul play where the mother dies okay where the mother dies now 317 and 318. 7 is like heaven. Okay, 7 is like heaven. So 317 is punishment for abandoning a child less than 12 years old. Where do you abandon the child? To heaven's sake. Bhagwan Baro se agar apne bache ko chhod diya, abandon kar diya, to heaven's sake, that is your 317. So remember 7 is heaven. Then you have 318 which is punishment for concealment of birth okay 8 is 8 is like concealment ENT is like concealment is 8 concealment of birth is 318 okay 318 now coming to your next one your hurt and grievous hurt k IPCs so we said 319 320 20 0 wala is more grievous that is your grievous hurt this is your hurt definition of hurt definition of grievous hurt then you have which are the IPCs which where you have basically dangerous weapon. Ye wala pehle yaad rakho, dangerous weapon wala. Dangerous weapon wala is 324 and 326. So remember the even numbers. Okay, the even numbers is more evil. That means more dangerous weapon. 324 and 326. 324 is voluntarily causing hurt with dangerous weapon. 326 is voluntarily causing grievous hurt by dangerous weapon. So what comes here also your acid throwing vitreo large 326A that comes in your 326 right. So even number is more evil that is dangerous weapon 324 hurt 326 grievous hurt. The odd number wale 323 and 325, it is simple like voluntarily causing hurt, voluntarily causing grievous hurt. There is uh, no dangerous weapon. When it is dangerous weapon, it is more evil. That means it is the even number 324 and 326. Okay, 324 and 326. 321, 322 is definition of voluntarily causing hurt and voluntarily causing grievous hurt. Okay. 319320 these are definition of causing hurt and grievous hurt then you have your even numbers which are more evil 324 326 voluntarily causing hurt with dangerous weapon voluntarily causing grievous hurt using dangerous weapon the odd numbers 323 325 these are simple voluntarily hurt and voluntary grievous hurt dangerous weapon is not here what is the IPC for injury, not for hurt? Injury ke liye kaun sa hai? What is the one? What is the IPC for injury? That is your 44. Very correct. That is 44. So remember ILD, that is like your interstitial lung disease. You have 44. 45 and 46 injury life and death okay injury life and death that is 44 45 and 46 then you have 326 humne already dekha even number evil hai dangerous weapon 326 grievous hurt 
so 326a is your vitriolage acid throwing life imprisonment 326b is attempt to acid throwing that is five years okay so acid throwing vitriolage remember is 326a life imprisonment is the punishment then you have your assault and your uh, uh, your indecent assault assault definition is 351 so we remember this ab aapka jo bhi grievous hurt hurt wala hai those ipcs they start with 3 right 319 320 323 and all of those similarly assault is 3 se start hone wala assault matlab kisi ne punch mara ek thappad bhi mari that becomes your assault so remember 5 is like giving a punch to someone okay so someone punch to someone is your 351 is assault what is your indecent assault check am i audible and visible now okay so 351 we said is assault okay so punch marna to someone that becomes your assault now think logically and tell me what will be your indecent assault if the question is indecent assault is it ipc 351 352 353 or 354 what will be the ipc for indecent assault indecent means again your foul okay foul assault foul is number four that is 354 so even in your 354 you have a b c and you have uh, you have d so 354 a is sexual harassment a a b is use of criminal force on women to disrobe okay so criminal force on women to disrobe that means bina kapde ke disrobing b is bina kapde ke c is voyeurism that is like your peeping tom so c is seeing through some uh, you know small space basically peeping tom so c is seeing and d is stalking okay d is stalking like a dawn okay or uh, like a dawn you are stalking someone so a is harassment sexual harassment b is disrobe and C is seeing that is voyeurism and D is dawn ke jaise stalk karna kisi ko. Okay. Uh, right. Let's, uh, let's see the other ones. 375, 376. 375 we all know is definition for rape and 376 is punishment for rape. I am not going into the details of this. All of this has been covered in detail in the plus class. I have taken on IPCs already. Okay. 375 rape definition 376 punishment 376 may important hai. what is 376 a b c d and e a is when the victim the rape victim is affected for lifetime that means the person the victim goes into persistent vegetative state or the victim dies that becomes your 376a so suppose they give you a scenario you know there was a rape incident and the victim died the accused should be punished under which of the following so that would be 376a b is bichri hui bv ke saath so sex with the wife during separation so that is your bichri hui bv bb c is sex by a person in authority matlab someone who's in chair right we say agar kursi pe koi hai kisi ke paas authority hai chair matlab c that is authority wala d matlab again d for dawn like we have d 354 d stalking dawn wala yahan pe dawn matlab dawn ka gang hota hai gang rape is 376 d 376 e is your expert rapist expert matlab who's been doing it again and again so repeated offenders will be your 376 e so remember this a b c d and e a is affected for lifetime it might be death or persistent vegetative state b is bichri hui bv so with the wife during separation c is someone in chair authority D is dawn, matlab gang rape. 
or e is expert that means repeated offenders repeated offenders right 377 matlab saath saath mein agar koi do uh, abnormal lo matlab abnormal activity saath saath mein 377 it is your non consensual unnatural sexual offenses are 377 then you have your crpc now remember this is crpc not ipc ipc is the one which defines the crime and the punishment for crime crpc is your procedure kya hona chahiye so police inquest and magistrate inquest police niche thoda 174 magistrate upar uske upar ka number 176 so you have 174 and you have 176 that is police inquest and magistrate inquest 174 and 176 okay 174 and 176 so remember this magic magistrate magis you can remember as magix that is basically 6 so remember magic straight you call it as magis ki baje call it as magic straight that is number 6 so you know that magistrate is 176 so police is 174 then you have medical examination of an accused like an accused can be examined by a doctor by using reasonable force if a police officer request so the accused is not ready to get examined but the police officer request the doctor ki nahi aap examine karo then the doctor can examine the accused and this police officer should not be below the level of your senior inspector so you have 53 crpc very important so 53 crpc this is like imagine these are two people this is the doctor who wants to examine this accused so they both are facing each other okay so number 5 is facing towards number 3 because this number 3 person wants to examine number 5 person okay so that is your 53 then uh, 53 one is uh, your this one which we said 53 two a female should be examined the examination shall be made only by or under the supervision of a female registered medical practitioner so this is specifically for a female uh, patient jab examine karna hai so number two remember ki female jab bhi aapko examine karna hai so that has to be under the supervision of female so that means one more person is required that's a female okay that's a female next one your iea okay so this is your iea not your ipc or crpc dying declaration and expert witness so you have 3 2 and 4 5 3 2 when you say the number is going down that means the life of the person is going down and down that means it is dying the person is dying niche niche ja raha hai graph that is dying declaration 4 5 matlab ye number upar upar ja raha hai matlab skill is increasing that is your expert witness okay that is your expert witness so dying declaration is 32 and expert witness is 45 so remember these four numbers 3 2 and 4 5 you will not write this as 23 dying hai to decreasing number 32 Four five expert upper jara number four ke baad aega five that is your expert witness okay that is your expert witness so now let us quickly revise the mnemonics which we saw okay so child under seven years is not liable for act this is basically for your criminal responsibility where do we start this where do we start this IPC eight two that is your eighty two seven to twelve years uske baad is your eighty three. unsound mind that is foul mind is number 4 that is 84 involuntary intoxication involuntary means forced intoxication forced matlab 5 this is 85 voluntary intoxication that means self intoxication self matlab s matlab 6 tell me which is this one causing disappearance of evidence of offense disappearance or destruction of evidence which is this ipc causing disappearance of evidence of offense this is which one very good that is your 201 remember this two mischievous person nullifying the evidence that is 201 right next one 
what will be this one voluntarily causing hurt by dangerous weapon or means which will be this one voluntarily causing hurt by dangerous weapon remember it is mentioning it is dangerous weapon evil weapon evil wala that will be your even number that is your 324 and voluntarily causing grievous hurt which is defined by 320 ipc by dangerous weapon that will be 326 grievous hurt is 326 326 a is your vitreo large acid throwing right 326 a is vitreo large next one which is this uh, let's see this one sex with the wife during separation Consa 376 wala consa hai ye? 376b remember b is bay label out of all these offenses in the rape offenses only 376b is available because it is basically with the wife so on the request of the wife it is available okay and authority chair is 376c gang is don it is 376d and your death or persistent vegetative state that is 376a right next one uh, punishment for repeated offenders is 376 e expert wala is 376 e dying declaration and expert witness dying declaration remember this is iea indian evidence act iea dying declaration is dying 32 expert is going up that is 45 right 32 and 45 32 and 45 right Okay, tell me uh, what is your magistrate inquest for? Magistrate inquest, is it IPC 176? Is it IPC 174? CRPC 174 or CRPC 176? What is your magistrate inquest? Please remember it is CRPC, it is not IPC. There are two more questions at the beginning which we had. Let me check those. We can uh, discuss those questions. Ye humne already dekha tha. 304A. Okay. What will be the answer to this question? A doctor while examining the patient without consent in an emergency is protected under which of the following IPC? Absolutely right. Very correct. That is your 92. Nahi do to bhi chalega. Nahi do that is emergency. 90. Zero is your invalid consent or null consent. Right? Yes. Okay. Which one is this? What will be the answer to this question? Under which section police can ask the doctor to examine without the accused person's consent? 52 IPC, 53 CRPC, 54 CRPC. Very correct. Remember it is 53 CRPC. This is not a punishment. This is a procedure. So this is your CRPC. 53, 5 and 3 facing each other. Right? 5 and 3 facing each other. So yes, I think these were the three questions which I wanted to discuss. And I hope now your IPC sections, at least some of them are easy to remember. The list is never ending. These are the most important ones. And uh, that was for the session guys. The mnemonics in your IPC sections. I will see you tomorrow at uh, 6 p.m. again for uh, your must know scoring systems. Tomorrow we have 5 p.m. class as well on the app. It is a free live class on the app. Basically you have a marathon on the app tomorrow. It is free for everyone on the must know topics. Okay, so we are going to discuss some very, very high yield must know topics tomorrow 5 p.m. And it's a free class. If you are joining the class, you can use the code Dr. Nikita live while joining. And if you want to sign up for the app, you know, there's also in the video description, there's the link which is there already. You can directly go to the link and sign up and you can use the code Dr. Nikita live. Uh, physio quiz discussion. Absolutely, I have to do it, Sahitya. I'll be doing it. Most likely not today. Uh, let me uh, uh, not to, we'll not do it today. We'll do it tomorrow or we'll do it on Sunday. I'll let you know. But that is of course on my mind. The CVS physiology quiz that we had.
Fabricating false evidence, Ashwarya, is 192. Okay, that is 192. Yes. Today, there is uh, no 9 p.m. class today. Okay, no 9 p.m. class today. And uh, physio car quiz, I'm definitely going to discuss. Don't worry on that front. All right. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining in. And goodbye. Take care. Keep studying, keep revising, and keep winning. Thank you so much.